money from somebody else. And that somebody else was referred to as Unk, is that correct? Yes, sir. Jamarcus's attorney says at the time, his client did not know of his brother's alleged involvement in the death of young Dolph. He says many of the conversations were held in code. There had not been any charges at that point in time. There wasn't a warrant out for his brother. Um, I, don't, I don't think he believed that his brother would be involved in something like that. He says his client has been cooperative from the beginning. Prosecutors say Jamarcus handed over the cell phone and identified a picture of his brother wearing the same clothes as one of the shooters. He also agreed to testify against his brother if called. Hackerman says Dolph's family is confident justice will be served. I'm just here right now. Do you remember how you found out and, and where you were? No, forget. Yep. Where were you at? I was at home. I was at home laying down, actually. Somebody called me in the house. Like, you know how you can hear when somebody call your name, like the tone of their voice, like you, you know something wrong, you just don't know what it is? Yeah. That's, 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 what I, that's what it was. Nobody can tell me it ain't nothing I can do that'll make me feel better. I'm just be 100. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> A report on Young Dolph's murder came out following his autopsy, showing that the young artist was shot 22 times on November 17th of 2021. Of course, you all know the entire story by now, but he was walking into Makita's homemade butter cookies, and that's when some people, <laughs> people, if I could only say what I really wanted to say, some people pulled up, got out of a car, started shooting. An eyewitness to the murder claims that the musician was killed by a shot fired through the window as he walked into the cookie store, and he was reportedly accompanied by only one other person at the time of the shooting. The two suspects, <laughs> suspects being the word I don't want to use, who were wanted for the murder of Young Doll were taken into custody months ago. That was Justin Johnson, who also goes by Straight Drop, he was taken in on January 11th, and Cornelia Smith who was already in custody at DeSoto County Jail in DeSoto, Mississippi for a previous arrest from the 9th of December. Because why not, I guess. Either way, we'll definitely be keeping Key Glock in our hopes and prayers that he gets past everything. And to be perfectly honest, even if he doesn't, I cannot say I wouldn't blame him. Not even remotely. Either way, we've been I Got The Dirt TV. You guys have been great as always. Keep it locked here for the latest updates, the latest breaking news, and the latest stories. And we'll catch you guys on the next go-round. Be safe in the meantime, and you know I mean it. Peace.